Welcome back to Middlefield Custom Sawmill. It's 11 degrees out here today. Look at this. <laughs> My wood is all frozen. I mean this, it's nasty. So needless to say, I'm not sawing today. You're gonna get another summertime video because summertime looks so good right now. But uh, maybe next week it's supposed to warm up again. But for this week, it's old stuff. Sorry, folks. <laughs> Hope you don't mind. Anyway, I'll be back at the end. Welcome back to Middlefield Custom Sawmill. Today on the mill, we have another 15 foot log. And yes, I'm going to try and get a, a four by eight out of that, which should just, just fit. But the log's not, not real straight. I don't know if you can see that, but it curves. So we're going to try. This is, I think it's another maple. So this end is about 15 inches. The other end's 11 by 11. So I think I need a, I think I need a 12 inch to get a four by eight. Where's eight inches here? Right there. Yeah, I might be able to do it. We'll see. Not just a bow, it's got a hump in the middle. Oh yeah, I'm cutting this stuff. It's not bad looking wood. Got a little bit of figure, but I gotta go down more. I don't think it's gonna make eight inches. I might be able to do eight wide. I don't know. This is going to be a tough one. I'm going down another inch. We'll see where that puts us. The problem I'm running into is right here in the middle. The bottom of the log is really high. In fact, it's about, about four inches off the bunks. So there's no way I'm getting eight inches this way. So I'm gonna have to try and go widthwise, and I don't know how that's gonna work. I guess we'll just put it on the ground for now. You're using the forks, so. Good and flat. Suppose you want to see the wood. There's a lot of washboard in it at this end because it's really dry and hard. So I kind of have to go slower than I really should. But when you get up here, this is kind of pretty. And you can see there's green and red and and it goes all the way down to the end. And this is the problem I'm having. You see how that's up? You know, there's the top, there's the bottom. There's only, there's only four inches of solid wood in there. So I'm definitely gonna have to go eight inches this way and four inches this way. Here and then here. This is the four. I don't know how that's going to work out, but we can sure give it a try. I guess I should measure down and see where I can get eight inches across there. Let's check that now. All right, so eight inches right there. You just go up. And it looks like if I go down an inch and a half, and I'll have more than four, I might be able to get two.
And that just got covered in sawdust. All right, let's see, did we get eight? Oh yeah, we actually got a little bit over eight. Oh, an inch and a half, it's heavier. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, so I threw some water on it because I got to show you this. This is not really good for a beam, but it was really pretty. So this is, this is just the log part here. Kind of ho-hum maple. It's got a lot of color to it for maple, but as we get up here, this is maple, isn't it? As we get up here, look at this. <laughs> you know, you don't see maple crotches like that very often. That's actually really pretty. That's all from this limb that was coming off here. But uh, yeah. That is pretty wood. And it's solid. And then it goes down. Here's the rest of it. Right up to the end. I'll turn around and show you going back the other way. It goes a long way, don't it? That's pretty though. Anyway, had to show you that. try and cut it since I want a four by I guess I'm going to cut it at eight and a six eight and an eighth so I'm going to go up eight and an eighth inches So there's no way we're going to get two four by eights. And as you can see, we ran out of log. That right there is eight inches tall. So you'd have one here and then one here. That's not going to happen because right there we ran out of wood. <laughs> it just, it gets too thin. I guess we could take one four by eight out of the middle. The top will be scrap and the bottom would be a two by eight maybe. That might work. That's two hearts there. Look at that. Well, we got eight inches. We're going to take two off the top, two off the bottom and see where that leaves us. Yeah, I don't know if that's going to work either. We ran out of log in the middle there. You can see it's breaking. Oh, and it's punky. There's a hole. Well, that's going to get cut off maybe. Yeah, that'll get cut off. I don't know. I hope that doesn't get any worse further down in this log. I kind of think I got to go another half inch or so just to get rid of these because they're they're both going to be in the log. That doesn't sound good. It sounds like it gets hollow as you go further down. <sighs> what to do, what to do. I'm going to take another inch off this side, shave it down just a little more. 
So right now I am at six and six and a quarter inches thick. So I'm taking it down to five and a quarter. This is what I wanted to see right here. I need to know if the board is gonna be solid, if the beam. And I don't know, maybe. I can't go down any further there. That was five and a quarter, so if I take it down to four and an eighth, I got my four inches. What the heck, it's just wood, right? You can see the hole there. This is what I'm talking about. That big old hole. I can't have that in the middle of the beam and it looks like it comes all the way out to here. So I think this is a losing proposition. I don't think I can get a beam out of that. I could get a short one, but I may as well just make boards. They're sure pretty boards. I mean, you know, I could just cut it there and there's a nice board, just edge it. Cut it there and there's another board. I don't know. It's not gonna work for a beam, so I'm hosed. You know what? I could turn it up on end and cut boards this way. Those might be pretty nice. And I might actually get a few before I hit the rot. right there. We'll see. So let me apologize for that. I don't know how much footage or we just lost, but the GoPro locked up at some point there while I was filming. The picture was all purple. So this is this squirrely log. Stood up on end. I'll show you from the other side. It's easier to see. So you can see it's it's not really flat, <laughs> but we're gonna cut the top off and just try and get some five inch wide boards out of it. That's all I can do at this point. Those are actually pretty heavy. So these are actually kind of pretty. Especially this section. I know it's not, so it makes them weaker, but man, that's some pretty wood. That is some pretty wood. Even up there. <laughs> I'll just run down the board here. I didn't throw water on this end. You can see there are just boards down here. I mean, it's still, it's nice looking wood, but yeah, not bad. So the log wasn't a real way. Wow, look at that. That is three dimensional. That's gorgeous. That, that would make this, this from here to here, cut it and make a box. Man, that would be pretty. That is really, I don't know if the camera's gonna pick that up or not, but man, there it is right there too. That just glows, it, it like shimmers in the light. And same here, 
even down here it's shimmering in the light. All right, well, I'm gonna flip that one over, put these on the side somewhere. I don't know where I'm gonna store them. I've been, I've been putting everything on top of that and that's gotta move soon too. So as soon as I build the shed, this is all getting rearranged. That worked. All right, can I muscle it up? Oh yeah, got it. Yeah, I know what you're gonna do to me here. Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. 10 inch, nine inch. Nine, eight. So if I cut it at nine, I can get boards down to around here. And then I'm stuck at uh, six and a half. This is why I couldn't make a beam out of it. It's all rotted in there. That wouldn't have worked real good. Five by five and a quarter. So I think I'm gonna leave that like that. I mean, this is still a bad section. So, you know, it'll be two. It's nice heavy wood, might be good for something. A light post, who knows. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. It wasn't much of a log, but I tried. This is that board months later after it's been dried and planed. I mean, this made some nice wood. This is now sitting out here in my garage. Let's go down this way a little more. There's that spot that you guys liked that I was going, ooh, ah, man, that's 3D stuff there. It's sitting on my snowplow out here in the truck. <laughs> so it's the middle of winter, but yeah. This is the back side of that board. Man, that is neat. And then up here. And then back at this end, look at that, look at the. I mean, that's tiger maple. Yep, that's just sad. Look at that. Even my cooking oil froze. That's cold. Brr.